Tesla always walks one step ahead of the world with its incredible CEO, Elon Musk. When it places a blueprint of another extraordinary feat and the world questions about it, after a while it becomes quite evident that the Tesla already had all the answers at its hands. It was just waiting for the right moment to let it all out. Elon has always been wacky like that. Tesla has been making miracles through its unique strategies and revolutionary motives. And not to forget, its potential partners. One such secretly blooming potential partner is the giant steel plant, Steel Dynamic. Welcome to TechSpot. Founded in 1939 by three former executives of Nucor, Mark D. Millett, Keith E. Boozy, and Richard P. Teets Jr. Steel Dynamics is an American steel producer based in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The company being the third largest producer of carbon steel products in the United States, it has production capacity of 13 million tons of steel. It started up production at its flat roll mill in 1996, and it announced its first annual profit in 1997. It is among the most profitable American steel companies in terms of profit margins and operating margin per ton. During the early 2000 recession, the company offered many incentive programs for employees to cut costs, developing standards and surpassing most other steel manufacturers. In November of 2019, Steel Dynamics declared that it would invest up to $1.7 billion to build a plant in Sinton, United States. It was also initially announced to start operations in fall of 2021. The plant will be designed to produce 3 million tons of steel per year. And guess who's going to be their neighbor? You're damn right. That would be Tesla's brand new Texa Gigafactory. Steel Dynamics Seton Steel Plant is only about 167 miles away from Giga, Texas. When Tesla uncovered the Cybertruck last year, one of the most fascinating features was the fact that the vehicle isn't going to be built using conventional automotive body system, but with what Elon calls exoskeleton. At the launch of the Cybertruck prototype, CEO Elon Musk said that it would be using the same alloy as SpaceX's next interplanetary spaceship. We're going to be using the same alloy in our Starship rocket. Tesla's and SpaceX's teams have repeatedly formulated a variety of alloys that are identically worked out to their needs. During battery day, Elon Musk said its companies have produced a variety of materials and alloys that were not available before. Here the giant aligns and joins hands for a purpose. Tesla is rumored to have struck a deal with Steel Dynamics to supply the steel for the Cybertruck, electric pickup truck, from the new neighboring factory in construction. However, neither Tesla nor Steel Dynamics have confirmed a supply agreement for the Cybertruck. The plant stated that they will be making steel for an electric pickup truck. Evidently, Tesla, being the only company to make an electric pickups with stainless steel, isn't it quite obvious that the motor giant is paving its way to birth its beast? The partnership of two massive factories in close vicinity should make the transportation of steel between the two facilities feasible, which should help Tesla catch its pace to reach Cybertruck production smoothly. Their progress to building the facility to make Cybertruck steel hasn't been as fast as Tesla's Giga Texas, but the progress is evident now. Recent aerial footage of the site indicates that several buildings have now erected, and some portions of it can be spotted with required equipments. Tesla has stated in the past the steel which would be used for the Cybertruck would reflect some unique touches. Last year in December, San Puerto Rico County Judge David Cribbs talked about the SDI Sinton Steel Mill. His previous statements 
hinted that Tesla would be redoing the steel from the Sinton plant to create an all-electric pickup. He said, Now some of these other companies who work with SDI will actually be taking SDI's product and refining it a little bit better. We're hearing that one of the companies that were pretty close to probably getting close is a company that is going to be taking SDI steel, redoing it. This suggests that Tesla is being particularly careful about the Cybertruck secret, especially those that involve the vehicle's exoskeleton and body. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Tesla always pays special attention to the materials that it uses for its vehicles. In July 2020, Tesla Motors started talking about the possible use of 304L cold rolled stainless steel. Tesla's motor guarantees that Cybertruck's body will be strong enough to easily resist not only heavy metallic objects, but also gunfire from 9mm weapons. After all, the manufacturer claims that they offer the ultimate levels of passenger safety. From its ultra-hard 3X cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin to Tesla armored glass, Cybertruck's exterior shell is designed for supreme durability and passenger protection. Cybertruck's body is made up of a single part and one stamped using ultra-strong stainless steel with a thickness of 3 millimeters. With a nearly impenetrable exoskeleton, superior strength and endurance, Tesla Cybertruck is an unusual pickup truck. In addition to having incredible characteristics, it also has a unique design. A bit weird though. Already said, the steel used for Cybertruck will be a central part of the vehicle. According to the event when the electric pickup was first unveiled, the steel was cold rolled 30 times to have high strength. The ultra hard 30X cold rolled stainless steel proved wrong for many critics who thought the steel couldn't be used to make vehicles. Besides providing steel to Cybertruck, the plant will be employing various people with good remunerations. First and probably most important reason that no other stainless steel cars are currently being offered for sale is their potential price. Stainless steel is much more expensive than ordinary grades. Its use can sometimes double the cost of the final product. Stainless steel is also more difficult to process and weld than ordinary steel. In addition, cars from stainless steel are not only very heavy, but also during operation, they quickly become covered with a mesh of various scratches. And such stainless steel is difficult to paint. Also, manufacturing specific quality steel in bulk needs precision and quality control. Material factors dictate the color range of the Cybertruck. Stainless steel cannot be painted. However, after months of online discussions about the Cybertruck color, one of the fans suddenly recognized that some types of steel can change their color shade as a result of heating and becoming gray, sandy, purple, and blue. As Elon Musk responded with a yes, at the moment the world realized probably Cybertruck will not have just a boring metallic color. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.